Okay, and this is the final part of part three of their, you have no privacy online, and a lot of these um, accounts really are fake accounts. So I'm going to show you two accounts that I really believe are fake accounts, and then I'm going to let you see Donnie's response to me being very open and transparent about making a TikTok. I'm going to give you all some tips on, I'm getting off of Facebook, but I'm going to give you a couple of tips on how to tell that a lot of these profiles are fake. So I matched with Jonathan, so let's go. So you see Jonathan sent me a message at 9.08 p.m., but his first message says, good morning, how are you, I'm John. John lives like according to his profile, down the street from me. So there's no way in hell at 9 o'clock at night he made the mistake of typing good morning unless he's in another fucking time zone. So more than likely, this is a scammer account. Second match was Micah. So let's look at Micah. Again, 1030 at night. Hey, baby doll, how are you doing, beautiful? Ooh, yeah, when a man starts off with both of those types of compliments that are all about your appearance, you kind of know that this shit is probably going to go left. But let's take a look at the actual profile pictures. When you see this picture, it's not clear. That usually means that it's a picture of a picture. So somebody took a picture of the computer screen and then created this profile. You can see the same thing in this picture, and even in this picture, it's very fuzzy, so you know that this is probably not a real profile. You can also see the lines across the top that lets you know that these are not real photos. Well, they are real photos, but they were probably taken from somebody's profile, and a fake profile was created around it. So, yeah, this is why I can't do this. And finally, we're going to see Donnie's very angry response to me telling him that I what I had done. And if you were curious about what Donnie thought of my swiping, here it is. So, I told him apologize and he definitely was not happy about it and deleted and blocked me so there you have it so there you have it so what is the lesson here the lesson here is anything you put on the internet is fair game just because you wouldn't do something doesn't mean other people would not do any do to do whatever it is you don't like there is no expectation of privacy and I deleted my Facebook account, not my Facebook account, but my Facebook dating uh, account. So Tinder is going to be next because honestly, I can't do this.